this video we're gonna talk about how to pass parameters to a report viewer and before we start we need to add to our solution uh, this reference Microsoft that report viewer that web forms and then your code page you have to import these namespaces and to complete this task we need a data set report viewer report that are the DLC and a drop down list and a button let's see the sample that I have here first when you load it um, you're gonna have a drop down list in this case we have CA and GA that's two states and a button let's try it As you can see, we have our state, California. Now let's choose Georgia and pass state Georgia, actually GA. As you can see, we can pass values from the drop down list. Now, this is how the code works before uh, you start your project make sure your table is ready in this case we have just three columns city state and city after you have the table done you need to create a data set like this a data set like this and your SQL statement includes a parameter in this case we're gonna pass state and then we're gonna add another we can add another table adapter and configure that one to get only distinct state I'm gonna use this adapter to fill we're gonna use that one to fill the drop down list when a page loads okay so one that adapter is gonna be to populate the drop down and the second one we're gonna pass the value from here drop down in the list and pass it on to a report viewer after you have this done then you can go and add your report and then all you have to do is add a table drag it drop it and then just drag city state and zip into the table then all you have to do is close it down close this one down we haven't made any changes and then for the code when you click on the on the button uh, let's go back let's go back to when a first the first page loads you have to follow these steps okay when a Page loads, we populate the drop down list using this this method. So let's go to the button event. On this button event, we make the report viewer visible to true. We create a data set and we're using this technique uh, using the data set that we made and populating, filling the data set and getting the value from the drop down list. And creating a data report data source, passing our our data source ID and our data set. And then we just clear, add it to the report viewer, and refresh. And that's all you have to do to pass our parameters. There's more code in this I'm coming right now. Uh, this is another method just to fail a data set, but doing it this way is faster and less code to write. Uh, if you have any questions, you can visit vsexpress.info to watch other videos. Thank you for watching.